Hey guys, it's me, Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 10 of I Cut to Love Parades. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so I did actually, I think it was like, what, Thursday, Saturday? I got to see a little bit of, like, not the episode entirely, but more or less, like, screenshots of certain things. And seeing some of my favorite characters interact with other my other favorite characters, which was hecka interesting. And I'm so excited to just see what in the world happened in this episode and just see it all. It is so weird to just see all these girls together in the school. But you know, we're missing a school. We're missing dream. I can't. It is so weird to see all these my best girls all together. Oh my god. It's still so weird, but I love it. So does that mean we're going to have, like, multiple performances today? I mean, that would be, like, okay, hold on. That would be really good, but then, I mean, sometimes it gets a little too much because then you're, like, trying to figure out who's the main person performing, like, who is this episode supposed to be about? But I think probably what they're going to do is it, it's essentially about the top idols, like, every top idol from every freaking series, like, Officially, for OG, it's Mizuki. For Akatsu Saras, it's Himiki. Himiki. Hime. And Elza. And then for this, it's Love You Tear and I Believe. So, like, literally having them. But, like, honestly, you still need Hime and the rest of S4. That's the thing. Because all four of them are the four top idols in that world. So, it would have been better if Tsubasa, um, Yuzu, and Yozura all were in this episode as well. But I don't think that they're going to do that. I think they're just really going to focus on uh, literally almost all my best girls. This is literally, like, the best thing ever. Oh my god. Ooh. There's a chair with nobody in it. Is somebody else coming? Yeah, you guys need to get to know each other. Your likes, your dislikes, everything. <laughs> hmm? Be careful. Oh, oh my god.
That's literally what this episode is a nutshell. All these girls, the top idols, performing. <laughs> I think I'm probably the only one who liked this song more uh, rather than her other song. Like, I mean, I love that song, but this, the beat of this song, like, in the beginning, oh my god, it just takes me away every single time. Oh my god, like, hold up. Look how short he made is to me, the key. Oh my god. The height difference is so freaking cute. Oh. oh my god, she is so freaking short. Her and Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting way too many feels with season one where her and Ichigo would always talk and I'm like oh my god <laughs> yeah it was her
Besides that cut and being in units. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Well, since Christmas is coming up, so wouldn't Christmas be like the next episode? <laughs> oh, but hold on, wait, hold on, we're missing some what? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Where's Yurika and Kaede? They're, like, the only two who haven't popped up yet. I mean, are they, like, literally pretending that they don't exist? I I'm a little confused. I mean, because, hold up, they did freaking think- Well, no. Where in the world would those two be, anyway? Because they did PVs of both Kayeda and Eureka in the freaking thing. Okay, okay, so then you want me to keep. Mm -hmm. You want me to keep. <laughs> They're playing the freaking music. Oh my god, stop. It is so weird to see them all here. <laughs> Oh my god, there's all the This is so weird. Oh my god. No, because of this new one. I got the new thing of this guy and then I got the friend. They're gonna do the try start. Like, here we are! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so good, even though I heard the song already. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. The best song, oh my god.
So then they have to do something with almost like every single girl. One unit has to have like literally every single freaking girl from all five schools. Bruh. <laughs> So imagine if they have like all the cute girls, all the like cool girls, all the like somewhat passion girls, the um the rock girls, like oh my I can't, it's too much. <laughs> Bruh, I don't even know what else to say about this. Okay, but yeah, we're missing Yurika and freaking Kayane. Like, where in the world are they? They're in this ending, aren't they? I mean, you literally, hold up. I mean, yeah, we're missing the girls from Dream Academy too, so I'm hoping that the following episode is them. But see, Kayane is right there. So where the heck, she? She she's somewhere. Kayane is somewhere. We just don't know where. Like, oh my god. And Laura, because Laura is, I think, in America again. So hopefully, maybe Laura comes back next week. The other girl who is um, usually with Madoka, I hope she talks this week. I hope Rocky Chan comes somewhat and freaking talk because, I mean, it, it's still weird because, like, yes, everybody's here, but we're still missing characters. And it's like, Where's it? Like those two, Dolly, like the the devil, the yeah, them, Dolly Devil. Where the heck are they at? There's so many girls that are freaking still missing, and it's like, where are you at? <laughs> but still, I think this is going to be a very interesting idea. But the fact is, like, are they going to be able to have the Christmas episode coming soon? Because the fact is, we are so freaking close. We're not freaking close, but we're close. We're like, let's see. Two weeks away from Christmas, so I mean, you just got to do it. I mean, come on. They're probably gonna have a Christmas episode on Christmas. I wouldn't be surprised about that, but maybe even the day after Christmas. Can we just talk about how pretty that dress was? Like, oh my god. <laughs> Finally! Oh my god. <laughs> This is gonna be so freaking good. Even her sister, freaking Zeta and her sister. Oh my god! Like I just need to see her and Raichu just like talk and fangirl again because oh, it would be so good. Now the fact, like finally, Laura is freaking here. It's been like ten episodes and she ain't here. Imagine it'd be like twenty episodes and Kaede and Eureka finally show up, or like Darling Devil. Um with their Happy Happy Train song, or, like, literally anyone else who has not been mentioned that I can't really remember their names right now because there is, like, a whole bunch of girls who still have not been in this show yet, and you're just sitting here wondering, well, okay, where's she gonna pop up? When she's gonna pop up? Who's popping up next? Because the fact is, like, um, from my, uh, da, 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 from OG I Cuts You season, from season three and season four, the two girls who came... Um, and during the exchange student program, like, they have to show up. I mean, like, I get that their school possibly still would exist in the world of Aikatsu and, like, Starlight Academy, um, Four Star, uh, Neo Vienna's Arc, and then, the, um, everything. All five of these schools, plus any extra schools that, like, uh, the one girl who, uh, did the exchange program, they should also exist well. So there's going to be a point where she, where those two, they're going to pop up. But I feel like what they're, what they're possibly going to do, they're going to wait. I don't really like the fact that they're going to wait a little bit longer, maybe. It, it could be, like, we're waiting shorter. Who knows? They could be coming, like, Kayede and Yurika could be coming in episode 12, maybe 13. I essentially really want all these girls to be here, like, before we get to the halfway point. So it's really, you know, a 50-50 percentage if they're going to really do it because there is so many freaking girls. And then you have to give every freaking girl a chance to have, like, their time to shine, whether it's in an episode by itself or also in a, um, in a performance. But I think it's a really neat idea that they're taking 
any, like, making a unit with several different idols from several different schools and to just see them interact with each other. So, I mean, I love the fact that they, like, finally included Dream Academy because they were the only ones who weren't present at that because I don't think there really was, for the second season of Aikatsu, a top idol for their school. So, you know, I get that, that the fact is they weren't accounted for, but they were probably still there. They probably had, like, a phone or something so they could communicate with them and everything. But it's okay. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 10 of I Cut to One Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day from the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next... Mm, this came out today. So, either next Sunday or next Monday, whenever... It comes out for episode 11. Bye, guys.